Over a hundred years since its independence from Great Britain, ongoing wars have made Afghanistan one of the world's most conflict-ridden nations. The strategic geographic location of the country has made it a battleground for dominance between great powers and foreign influence throughout its history. Today, Afghanistan's economy and infrastructure are in ruins, and almost two and a half million of its people are refugees. But to understand the reality of Afghanistan today, it's important to grasp the historical context surrounding its independence and key moments in its modern history that gave it the name, the Graveyard of Empires. The British fought Afghanistan in a series of wars in the 19th century, in attempts to control the country and block the expansion of Russia's sphere of influence towards India. Their incursions set a precedent for the Soviet and American invasions that followed, but they have all suffered a similar fate of defeat. In each case, after years and sometimes decades of trying to control Afghanistan, the battle reached a stalemate in which foreign invaders were forced to withdraw, leaving behind a legacy of destruction and the loss of precious years during which Afghanistan could have developed and begun to thrive. During the 19th century, the British and Russian empires were locked in a battle of influence in South and Central Asia known as the Great Game. Britain, looking to protect its Indian Empire, wanted to keep Afghanistan away from Russia, and these attempts to control Afghanistan resulted in a series of British-Afghan wars. The first Anglo-Afghan war was fought between the British East India Company and Pashtun tribesmen. The British were unsatisfied with Afghan ruler Dost Muhammad Khan, and fearing that he might turn to Russia for support, they intervened. The story that follows is all too familiar. The British moved to remove Muhammad Khan from power with the aim of restoring exiled Afghan ruler Shah Shoja to the throne. In 1838, the Governor General of India, Lord Auckland, declared war on Afghanistan. Initially, the British succeeded in their aim, but it was only a matter of time before the entire country rose up in rebellion. The British lacked experience of occupying a country with complex terrain and tribal rivalries. The invasion of Afghanistan ended in disaster in 1842, when an entire British army regiment was massacred, forcing the British to eventually withdraw, and later Dost Muhammad Khan was restored to power. This illustration shows the only survivor of 4,500 troops and 12,000 camp followers who were massacred in Kabul. The soldier arrived at Jalalabad to deliver the news of their loss. In 1878, the British fought another war in Afghanistan out of fear of Russian interference. The British were alarmed when the Emir of Afghanistan, Sher Ali, was visited by a Russian diplomatic mission. They demanded that the Afghan government accept a British diplomatic mission, and when they refused, the British decided to declare war. Nearly 40,000 British troops advanced to Afghanistan from India in late 1878, and by the spring, they were able to control large swathes of the country. After victory, the British arranged a treaty with the Afghan government. The country's leader, Sher Ali, had died and his son, Yaqub Khan, ascended to the throne. The Treaty of Gandamak of 1879 ended the war, and Yaqub Khan agreed to cede Afghanistan's foreign relations to the British. But Afghans were not happy about the treaty, and soon a rebellion started in Kabul. British General Frederick Roberts appointed himself as military general of Afghanistan after Amir Yaqub Khan abdicated. The British were looking for a new, strong leader for Afghanistan, and when Abdurrahman Khan returned from exile, he was installed as the new leader of Afghanistan. He later became known as the Iron Amir. Abdurrahman gave the British assurances that Afghanistan would not turn to Russia, and in return, the British left Afghanistan. In 1919, everything changed. The Afghan Amir, Habibullah Khan, was assassinated and his son, Amanullah Khan, seized power, declaring full independence from Great Britain and launching a war against the British Raj. In 1919, Afghan troops invaded British India, taking the strategic town of Bagh. The fighting ended with an armistice on August 8, 1919. The war resulted in Afghans winning back control of foreign affairs from Britain and the British recognizing Afghanistan as an independent nation. Finally, the Treaty of Rawalpindi was signed, which recognized the Durand Line as an international border between Afghanistan and pre-partition India.